That's so right. Total Gosh. waste of resources. So let's fit this class into some guidelines. I know the, the guidelines have, have not been updated for a few years. We have these new drugs. How would you integrate this class into the treatment guidelines? Were you on his committee? Well, I think we're all agreeing that we like the way they're integrated now, that I think the guidelines that came out were reasonable, mm -hmm. that, that we're saying, you know, uh, for preventative care, try a couple of the other ones first, but very quickly, if those aren't working, we want you to progress to the one that and works. And very reasonably, I think you should document a reasonable dose and a reasonable exposure. It's not like you just take propranolol 10 milligrams for a week and then ch like you're ticking some sort of box. Physicians and patients should be honest and have an integrity about this so that the that, that uh, exposure gets done properly. So then when we turn around and say these people need these other treatments, that there's some kind of, you know, reasonable mm -hmm. relationship going on. Right. All right. And, so, and that they work for the person, right? So they're maybe not going to work for everyone. That's the other piece too, is once you start this, let's make sure it's working. Oh, now there's a concept. It's, it's effective. <laughs> right, it's effective. Let's make sure it's working and not have you go back for these injections if they're not. Does that sound rational to you? Yes. All right. We have other drugs in the pipeline, right? Uh, here we go, galkanizumab. You want to want to walk me some of the, uh, through some of these here? So galkanizumab is the is a, is a CGRP peptide um, uh, monoclonal antibody. Um, there are randomised control trials in episodic and chronic migraines effective. There's a randomised control trial that was just released at the American Headache Society a couple of months ago in episodic cluster headache to show it worked. Whereas it failed in chronic cluster headache, which is uh, which is interesting. So we're going to have a whole interesting discussion about um, where these might find a role in in episodic cluster headache. That, that's a that's a different discussion. Okay, we got another one. Freminazumab. Yeah, freminazumab is a, again a monoclonal antibody to the peptide CGRP. It's been developed in episodic and chronic migraine. Again, there are randomised controlled trials. Galcanazumab is injected subcutaneously monthly. Freminazumab has two dosage ranges in their clinical trials, one where they were given uh, monthly doses and a second one where they're given actually a three-monthly triple dose, you might say, so that it's done quarterly. And freminazumab is in a randomised control trial in episodic cluster headache, which hasn't read out, uh, yet its chronic cluster headache study, just like the galcanazumab one, uh, has been pulled for futility. So that prob that's probably a theme. And then there's one, I guess it's even further out, which is eptinazumab. Mm -hmm. Eptinizumab is again a, a CGRP uh, ligand monoclonal antibody. Its particular thing is it's been studied uh, largely by intravenous uh, administration, either uh, quarterly or actually the first study was, uh, was six monthly and it's effective in episodic and chronic migraine as well. My neurologist is most excited about the last one. He said the efficacy is uh, a little bit better than with the uh, subcutaneous drugs. What, the eptinizumab? Mm -hmm. The last one. Mm -hmm. How do we know if, if it, it's just in some early trial? It's oh, always great in early trials. Yeah, right? I think that all of the, uh, the we've seen phase three data for all of these medicines. Oh, okay. I, I, uh, I think that I think that it's a lot. I don't see much daylight between them. Actually, I have to say that. Okay. All right.